If you're looking for buildings data for Great Britain, you can find it here. The link is in the description for this video and the image on screen, you can see what the data looks like. I've created a single geo package for all buildings in Great Britain and there's also individual geo packages for every local authority area in Great Britain. So if I go to the red button, all buildings in Great Britain, you can see the data listed by local authority, Aberdeen, all the way down to York at the end. If I want to get them all, I can click the all buildings file, but note it's uh, 4.2 gigabytes. So I will just download some of this and then go into QGIS and I'll drag and drop the file in in a moment. So here's the, all the geo packages downloaded onto my computer. You can see I've highlighted the one that's got all buildings in Great Britain. I'm going to add that, drag and drop it into QGIS and then I'll move that window out of the way. It'll start drawing. What I usually do is I usually turn it off and then I'll add an OpenStreetMap base map. I'll just drag and drop that in, click OK and zap that warning. And I'll zoom in to somewhere, in this case, London, just so that I can see a bit more detail of the building. So we don't want everything to be drawing the whole time. So I'll turn OpenStreetMap off. I'll turn the buildings back on. Now the buildings are sourced from Ordnance Survey data, but if you download that from Ordnance Survey, there's no column indicating which local authority a building is in. So we've added that. So I'm gonna double click the layer. Let's go to symbology. Instead of single symbol, we're going to categorize it. So there's different colors based on the value and the value we'll use is one of these new columns. So we've got local authority district 2024 code name, and then we've got the name in Welsh for the Welsh local authorities where there is a Welsh name. So let's classify by local authority name. Click classify. Now it's quite a big data set. You might want to try just a chunk of the data for one area if you're using this yourself. I'm just going to classify it all. I'll take a moment on my computer. There we go. And the last thing I want to do is I want to make sure the outline color of the buildings is the same as the fill color. To do that, I should say the reason I'm doing that is if I don't do that, then I'll just see loads of black for the black stroke color of the outline because the buildings are so small. So I'll click on the drop down beside symbol. I'll configure symbol. It can be a bit confusing, but go to simple fill. Then you get the option to change the fill color or the stroke color for all of them. In the stroke color data defined override, I'm going to click the button there and click edit. And in the middle section, I just double click symbol color. And what that does is it makes the outline color the same as the symbol fill color for each polygon. Click OK. I'll reduce the stroke width to 0.1. And I'll just click OK. And if I apply this in the background, you'll see what happens. Click OK. So the colors of the buildings now, let me change the background color, project properties. I'll just change the background color to a dark color. Let's do black. OK. And the colors of the buildings now are based on the local authority the building sits within. And obviously I could edit these colors and change them as I wish. But this is what the data looks like when you load it up. It's one big geo package. If you wanted to filter it to just show one area, you could right click, go to filter. I could double click LED 24 NM because that's the column with the local authority name in it. Equals if I hit all, it's going to list all possible values. Again, with the full data set, this is going to take a few moments. But there we go. I'll type in Islington. Double click that. So the filter here is just looking at areas where the name is Islington. So every building in Islington. Click OK. Let's zoom to that layer. Just takes a moment. And there we see just the buildings in Islington. So that's how you can get all buildings in Great Britain into your QGIS project and filter them by local authority. Or indeed, you can download any of the single geo packages for any individual local authority in Great Britain. I would have included Northern Ireland, but that data is not open, unfortunately.